and they would have called it eugenics, but they always meant individual eugenics. They always meant, you know, using genetic knowledge to whether choose a partner, children, etc. Julian yes, was because more Brave New World is not it's supposed to be dystopian. He is warning us in many it is, ways. But it's, it's not about a this warning. compulsory society wide. That's right. Situation. So it's a warning against compulsory government sponsored eugenics. But his last book explores this topic again, and he's in favor of he's in favor of individual selection and even you know sperm donors and this sort of thing. He you know he's imagining all kinds of kind of strange utopias. It's a novel, right? It's not yeah. it's not a blueprint for society. But yeah. I think Huxley and his brother Julian they drew exactly the right lessons from World War II, which is maybe we were a little in, too enthusiastic about what the state could do in terms of like improving the human population, but we were not overly enthusiastic when it comes to thinking, well, the traits that make us human are heritable, the traits that really, you know, predict a good life, like having a decent level of empathy, intelligence, health, 